Hi guys, I'm Lynette, aka London Makeup Artistry, and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to IMATS. Yay! My first time, my very first time going to IMATS. I'm super excited. And there was a question, believe it or not, if uh, I should wear makeup today or not. Because <laughs> I wouldn't. My goal was to get there like as soon as it opens. And um, for that, I was going to have to wake up before the birds. And I had to do that anyway. Um, but I decided, of course, I'm going to a makeup show. So I guess I have to wear some makeup. So I decided to do this look for you. Um, so this is the look I came up with. Um, in previous videos, I had shown you the Kat Von D Metal Crush Shadows that I picked up. I picked up three, so I really wanted to try some of those today, and I did. I used two of those shadows today. This one is Paranoid, a pretty blue, and this one is Electric, Electric Warrior, which is a beautiful lime green so i used those two shadows today i also pulled out an oldie but a goodie i dug into archives this morning and i pulled out the bh cosmetics um welcome to brazil palette i've had this palette for a really long time but it's a really good one and it's got a lot of bright colored shadows I bought this palette around the time that the Urban Decay Electric Palette came out. And of course Urban Decay is a lot more expensive than BH Cosmetics. And the Electric Palette, although beautiful, I don't really do a lot of bright shadows. Um, not really bright looks. So I knew I wouldn't be using that palette very often. And so I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So I thought the... Um, Welcome to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics would be a nice alternative. So, and I don't pull this out very much because I don't wear a lot of bright colors. So, this was a good price and it does what I needed to do. And I used it today for this look. I want to thank you for tuning in today, this morning, very early. It's very early in the morning. The sun has now come out. When I started this look, you'll see the lighting is a little different because the sun wasn't even up yet. I woke up mad early this morning so um i did this look and i want to thank you for joining me if you see anything you like in this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more also don't forget to follow me on instagram at london makeup underscore artistry i will have that information linked below okay there's a hair um i'll have that information below also all of the products that i used in this tutorial will also be in the description box below so thanks again for joining me you guys if you'd like to see how I got this look keep watching okay so we're going to start out with the LA Girl HD concealer in toffee and I'm using that to prime my eye I'm going to blend it all over my eyelid with my finger and it's going to serve um, to kind of cancel out some of that darkness I have on my eyelids and it's going to help the shadows that I put on top stay all day. Now this is a shadow from NYX, Blame It On Midnight, same color as my skin and I'm using that to set that concealer and it's really serving also as my first transition color and it's going to help the colors I put on top blend. This is Colored Rain, the shadow Gingerbread and it's also the color of my skin. And I'm going to put that in the crease as well. We're starting to warm it up. I'm using back and forth windshield wiper motions to blend that into my crease. Now this is another colored rain shadow. It's called Moments. And it's a warmer brown color and I'm putting that in my crease as well. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with my Sigma E40 brush and blend that out. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm gonna start off with this lime green that I'm putting a little above the crease and in the crease. And it's not very pigmented. I've had this palette for a really long time. 
So um, I'm going to go back into that palette several different times to build up the color into my crease. And I'm using back and forth motions and little circular motions to blend it out. And this is going to serve as a great transition for the color I'm going to put on my lid, which is the Kat Von D Electric Warrior shadow. And that's going on my lid. And I'm going to pack this color on. And I'm using a Sigma flat shader brush and padding motions as well as back and forth swiping motions because I really want to pack this onto the lid and get as much color payout as possible. Now if I had sprayed my brush and put it into the shadow it would have been even more vibrant. But I felt like this was giving me what it is I was looking for. <laughs> so I'm continuing to pack that on. And then I would go back into that BH Cosmetics palette and back into that lime green, into the crease, and blend out the edges of that Kat Von D shadow. And continue, continuing to build up the color in the crease. And more color in the crease. And now it's looking pretty monochromatic, but not for very long because we're going to add some blue. Uh, but first we're going to, I'm going to blend out the edge of that color with that original NYX color. And then I'm going back into the color to rain gingerbread color and continue to blend in the crease. We want it to be nice and smooth transition between all the colors. We want them to blend. This is the other Kat Von D Metal Crush Shadow. This is Paranoid. And it's a pretty turquoise blue. And I'm just packing that onto the outer V area and halfway onto the lid with a small, tiny shader brush. And I'm using that to place the color. And then I'm going to take um, a fluffier brush and blend that color. Because we want to make sure we blend. You don't want to see where one shadow ends and the other begins. And back in with the lime green. So every time we place the color, we have to blend. Make sure we don't have any harsh edges. And then because we did so much blending, we got to go back in with that electric warrior. Back onto the lid. And overlap it with that blue. So the two blend together. Now we're going back into the Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm using a darker blue and I'm putting it right where I put the um, that paranoid color and this is a smaller pencil brush and I'm putting it into the crease as well on the outer V and blending it like halfway on, into the crease and then blending it out. And we go back in with that NYX color, blame it on midnight, and blend out the edges. Going back in with that dark blue in the Take Me To Brazil palette. And now we're blending that out as well. And this dark blue is adding some depth to this look. And then blend out those edges. Blend, blend, blend. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I did my eyeliner off camera because I didn't want this video to be any longer than it already is. And I used the Inglot Gel Liner in the color number 77, which is black. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick in Trespassing Taupe. And I'm going to use that as a primer for the shadows I'm going to place under my eye. I find that this really helps the shadows stay all day. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil in the color Abyss. And that's going in my waterline as well as below my eye. Back into the BH Cosmetics palette, back into that dark blue, and I'm going three quarters of the way across my uh, lower lid 
and blending that out. And this is a Makeup Geek shadow. It's a duochrome shadow in the color Voltage. And I'm putting that on the inner corner to highlight. And I'm just taking a Q-tip here to clean up where I got a little out of bounds with that shadow. Now to the face. I am contouring with the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the color NW50. And I'm going to use that in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, my forehead. And I'm using this big fluffy Morphe brush to do that. Contour girl, get that contour on. Go ahead. There you go. This is also from MAC and this is the blush in the color Raisin. And I'm going to pop that on my cheeks. This is a nice everyday color, and I wear it just about every day. And that's my Becca highlight. You can see I love it because it's damn near gone. And using that fluffy Eco Tools fan brush to put that on the tops of my cheeks and around my temples, down the bridge of my nose, my Cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. I wish Becca would have been at eye mats. I would have picked up another one of these. Yes, eeks! That's my MAC lip liner in the color Chestnut. I wear this liner almost every day. Have no fear though, I do have a backup waiting in the wings. I'm just gonna line my lips with my trusty Chestnut and then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the color Rebel Rose. And I really like these liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild. They're $4.99. They're re really pretty colors. And they wear well. And they don't dry your lips out too much. And this is another favorite, my Sephora Lip Gloss in I think it's the number 22 it's hard to read it but um, this is a pretty pink and I'm just going to put that over that liquid liner Sephora don't sleep their lip glosses are really nice very opaque shiny very lovely and they're priced pretty reasonably and this is the final look guys I'm posing strike a pose. Yes, honey, yes. Came out pretty good. I like I like the way it came out. Okay guys, so that's the look. I'm on my way to IMAX. Uh, I did enjoy using the shadows, uh, the Kat Von D Metal Crush shadows. They are very pigmented, um, as most of her shadows are. They worked well, they blended out well, as I think um, you saw in the tutorial. So um, I'm hoping they're gonna last long. Shimmer shadows, I don't know, they're touch and go with me because I have oily eyelids, even though I prime and all of that. Um, I still have oily eyelids, and so they may start to crease later on today. I hope not, but you know, what can I do? What can you do? So, um, Thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Uh, the link is below. If you see any looks on there that you like, please let me know. You can comment here or comment there and let me know and um, I'll do that for you here on YouTube. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Anything that I purchase at IMAT, I will definitely be posting a video of my haul. I don't know how big of a haul it's going to be because I'm going to try not to go too crazy. But, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna get some stuff. So whatever I get, I, I am, of course, going to share with you guys. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you will come back and I'll see you next time.